In recent months, COVID-19 has brought dramatic changes to many areas of normal life. In this vlog series, we'll introduce how manufacturers are being affected and how the industry is responding to these new challenges. The coronavirus pandemic has had worldwide impacts across all industry sectors. From travel and hospitality to healthcare and energy, many are feeling the economic pain and logistical challenges of running their operations in today's world. They are left wondering how they can respond for today and what to do to prepare for tomorrow. But manufacturers have been uniquely hit. Due to the nature of the work on the factory floor, they face inherent challenges in their ability to run daily operations safely and efficiently. In manufacturing, most rules are physically required to be on site and cannot be done remotely. On a typical factory floor, you'd see operations, maintenance, quality, engineering, all working in close proximity. When a motor needs replacing or tooling needs to be changed, these aren't things that can be done from off-site and will require multiple people in the same workspace. Additionally, with all these employees on site, you frequently have different personnel using shared assets like HMIs, barcode scanners, and material transports. This scenario presents obvious challenges in today's environment, and manufacturers are looking at how to minimize these risks for their own business continuity and to provide the best safety for their employees. They're also looking to be ahead of any regulations, reduce exposure to litigation, and for some industries, look at how to capitalize on rebound opportunities and potential repatriotization of manufacturing. In response to COVID, manufacturers are being forced to incorporate fundamental and lasting changes to digital adoption in their factories. We see four main areas that digital is being applied on the factory floor. We will briefly address each and we'll have deeper dives in subsequent vlogs in this series. The first is contact tracing. Capabilities in this area are becoming more important to help in the manufacturing environment. Contact tracing may be applied to people as well as shared resources. Computers, mobile devices, tools, all may be used by multiple people in a short time span. Organizations need the ability to handle contact tracing if an individual is affected and then manage their response. Next is social distancing awareness and enforcement. For the sake of their employees' health, as well as compliance with legal and regulatory guidelines, employers must support their employees in following recommended distancing measures. This may take different forms depending on the situation, from periodic reminders to audible alerts to supervisor intervention. There are whole new classes of technology solutions coming to market, as well as the repurposing of existing technologies. Each has their pros and cons and will fit some companies better than others. Automation has been a driving force in the industry for years, and the COVID impacts have brought a renewed focus on how it can transform manufacturing operations. Automation can help reduce the amount of people physically required to be present in the plant. Fewer people in the plant means less potential for someone to bring the virus to work and an easier time maintaining social distancing. Smart vision systems can do inspection, automated guided vehicles can handle material movement, and robots can automate processes. Additionally, investments made into automation pay recurring dividends in efficiency, safety, and other areas long after code concerns have eased. Lastly, manufacturing operations continue to be dependent on their operational technology infrastructure. However, many in the industry still treat this area as out of sight, out of mind, until something goes wrong. We're hearing renewed calls for help in the OT support space as factories get ready to start back up. Plants need the right people, processes, and technologies in place for dealing with disruptions and unpredictable events like illness and reduced staffing levels. All of this needs to be delivered in a cyber secure manner as well due to increased threats in the OT space. We will be following up with more in-depth looks at these different topics in future posts, so stay tuned. This was just an overview of the different areas we see being impacted on the shop floor. We're actively working in each area with our customers, and we have many examples we're happy to talk through and share the details on. In these times, there will, there will be short-term actions required to get safety back to work, but they will need to be aligned with long-term digital strategy, and Brock Solutions can help with both. As a system integrator with 30 years experience in the real-time space, supporting our clients' needs in all market conditions is what we do. If you have questions about challenges you're facing and how you can prepare your operations to continue to deliver in this new reality, please reach out.